Hey guys and gals, let's build the limited edition Winter Elves seen by LEGO. This is set number 40564, contains 372 bricks. Now this is a promotional item from LEGO. They're having a special from November 19th through the 20th. So if you purchase like $170 or more, you can get this set. And I think they're having a second run of this from December 26th through the 28th. So, and yeah, LEGO did provide this set to me for review early review and yeah so here's the box and yeah this is a very colorful box this, this set looks very inviting to build so this is not this doesn't look like something that's going to be a waste of time so let's take a look here and see i have to pre-screen the manual make sure there's no assets that i can expose so there's actually two bags here that you got to build so, I haven't done one of these in a while because at this point I want to do nothing but recent sets on this channel. If I get like a gift that's like a set that's a couple of years old, I'll still do it. So let's get started. So I haven't really been doing a whole lot in terms of on this channel. I've just been uploading more old stuff and it's just been... crazy with work. I have been getting swamped with projects because it is that time of the year again. I have to actually finish stuff up. Oh, these come with the knife scarves. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I've been kind of swamped with work. and But I have good news, though. I am all done with tutorials for the end of the year. I'm starting to work on some tutorials for, the, uh, for next year, for 2023. And... He's got the ice skates on him. And I'm just trying to get everything done so I can just relax and enjoy my winter break. Because I have, like, today... So just to let you all know, this is a set that I got on... This is a deadline. So, like, right now it's um, November 15th. And the set is actually supposed to be release for us reviewers today. <laughs> so I'm trying to get as much done as I can. I'm going to try to blast through this. And I don't like these strict deadlines, but but that's the elf. And his little puck. So I guess this is just, uh, you know, of course it's got the stars. So yeah, I've been very busy with work-related stuff, and now it's time to build. I got uh, I actually couldn't get all my stuff done, so I have to be at work on Friday. I was trying to get it done by Thursday evening, late, but I have one guy who wants to do his eval on Friday morning. So, now well, my vacation's going to start one day later. I mean, I mean, sometimes that happens, and that's the bad thing about... Sometimes you have to, when you own a business, things like that happen. You just have to deal with it. So even though, if, you know, some people think I'm the boss, no, I still got to take orders like everyone else. You know, this manual here just likes to keep closing on me, so I'm just putting my elbow on it here. Yeah, so I've been kind of just taking every day slowly and just trying to finish stuff up for the holidays. And I'm overworked, to be honest with you. But I, I have to. i got to pay bills and stuff like that. So, one of the couple things that I'm looking for this set, you know, other than telling stories about my day and stuff, or my week or whatever, is build experience. So if you're new to this channel, this is how I do things on here. I kind of just ramble and just talk about things. Sometimes these sets will actually spark... A memory or something. Okay. So you get to know a little bit more about me and such. Now the set looks pretty interesting. I don't know how the build's going to be. We just started. So. And these are all raw, uncut. Right now I'm actually processing the rendering up whatever, you know. <laughs> The unboxing of this set. I already did the intro, the one with the face and the first impressions look. 
So I am really on a strict deadline with this, guys and gals. So I'm hoping to finish this up. Well, I'm going to have to finish it up tonight. I don't know if I'll have this on the, you know, later on today or whatever. But um, we'll see what I can do. I, I don't want to just wake up, do Lego, go to bed, and do work because I'm always on the computer. This is not a computer-based thing. This is just building stuff. So I'd rather do this here. You know, just kind of plug parts in. And so the set's got about close to 400 pieces. And these these little holiday sets are always a treat to put together. But you have to spend the bucks to get this one. And I'm hoping they'll have it in for retail. Those are some transparent light blue one by one flat tiles. Okay. I'm going to pick some more of those up. They, they work good for swimming pools and stuff. So maybe we can use a couple of these when we're done. Yeah, it's been in the 60s here, and in the nights it's been like in the 20s and 30s. It's really cold outside, but in the daytime it's not too bad. It's desert life for you. It's just how it is. Get this done. So Yeah, but I, I'm glad I got a bunch of tutorials done. So... If you're watching this now, if you've, if you've already watched the Red Tractor on YouTube, on my main channel, the Red Tractor tutorial, November is, from this point on, usually I do kitchens and stuff like that, but no, I can't do kitchens, but I'm going to be doing a bunch of vehicles. It's like I have a backlog of stuff, so I'm getting caught up for the end of the year. The only thing I have left to do is two mocks. I got a Christmas morning mock, or Christmas Eve mock, I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet, but I have ideas how I want to build it. And I have one mystery mock. I'd like to squeeze it on the week of of uh, Thanksgiving. Now, I don't know when I'll have it done. I don't even know if I'll even have it done. I just started the rough layout. Um, usually it's just a small mock tour. You take a tour of it. And if you guys and gals are interested, I will most likely make a tutorial for it. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping to squeeze that out. Oh, by the way, we're going to just say it verbally here, and I'll tag it as well. These are also meant to be as ASMR, so I've, I've had a few of you guys tell me you listen to these in the background, just for filler noise, which is cool, you know, some people like that. I even do that, too. I'll find somebody who's just talking about just random things and just listen while I'm working. Uh, you know, it's better than just being in a quiet room. Kind of reminds me in, in, in grad school when I would go into the exam room and take a test. And it was just dead silence in there. The only thing you'd hear is the, the fluorescent lights humming. You know that humming noise, a 60 hertz hum noise they'd make. Or if they're running a fan, you'd hear that oscillating fan all creaky. It was just, I don't like that. And I noticed these, this set actually has outlines on the instruction manuals. So it's pretty good. You know, so it's like me. I don't, I don't like being in a quiet area for too long. Noise doesn't really bother me, unless it's just something that irritates me. You know, I have a neighbor that moved in about a year ago, and this guy uh, never really talked to him. They blare their music out all the time, and they're like in their sixties. And I'm like, I, I don't want to listen to that really old music stuff, you know. And, I'm like, you know, yeah, I'm getting old myself, but I don't listen to that really old stuff, you know, and one time we were outside, and we were sitting by the fire, heard, he heard us out there and decides to crank that rail full blast, and I thought, oh, God, you know, so, kind of on a, just like, dude, just chill out on that stuff, nobody wants to hear your really old 50s and 60s stuff. I mean, I listen to hip hop and rap. I even listen to some of the new stuff. That's pretty. That's pretty questionable lyrics. You don't see me doing that out there and blaring out my neighbors with all that. Yeah. Plus, I don't even. I I got out of blaring out my music years ago. You know, I mean, I know some teenagers do that, and I we've all done it. But, yeah, I mean, come on, you know, let's do that. 
that. Okay. So sometimes I want a quiet evening with my friend or family, and just be like, "Don't, don't bother me. <laughs> I don't want. I just want to sit back, enjoy the quiet time, and just listen or listen to the fire crackle and the stars, and just watch the stars in the sky and one to one. You know that kind of thing. I just don't want to hear somebody else's music." Okay, now I know why they did the one-to-one, -one because there's different types of plates. I'm looking for one that's actually got a little corner taken out of it. Here it is, that one right there. It fits right inside. So they got it kind of like a little, little water exposed there and stuff. That's pretty cool. And that's one reason why I don't... Uh, do the the videos outside anymore is because of the uh, really old music that I don't really care to hear. I don't know what possesses people to do like, hey, I this is I love this music here. I want to blur it out so I can make everybody so I can let everybody else listen to it. And I'm like, no, this 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 gentleman here doesn't want to hear that. Well, to me, it just. I mean, this guy plays some really depressing stuff, but <laughs> what I had found out from one of my neighbors, though, um, thank God he's not on that on my side of the house, that uh, they're, hev they're heavily into cannabis, too. So, there's nothing wrong with cannabis smoking or anything like that, but I wouldn't want to walk out my door, or, better, or worse yet, have my windows open and have to smell that. But the other side of me, though, my neighbors are very quiet. Very quiet. Oh, this goes here. Yeah. So far, uh, there is a lot of little pieces in this build. This is, you know, this is probably going to be one of those heavily detailed little mini builds. So, it's packed with lots of little parts. I even mentioned that in the uh, unboxing. I'm like, this set has a lot of little pieces. So, if you're not a fan of little parts, you probably not going to want this too much. You know, some people are not into the little parts. But, you know, in order to make something more higher resolution in LEGO, you're going to have to use the smaller pieces. You can't just use 2x4 bricks. So, I kind of see why they did it. And no, we don't see snow like this where I'm at. Sadly. Must be just ice here. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do this winter, though. Um, I think I'm just going to work around the house. Just take it easy. And just kind of just relax. Uh, if my neighbor continues doing that, Playing that obnoxious stuff. Yeah, I think him and I are going to have words. I'm like, dude, you don't see me blaring out my hip hop and rap music. You know, I mean, come on now. Play a little bit of, play a little bit of Drake or something. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. I would love to play some music in these builds, but. YouTube now has got this new thing out where you can buy licensed tracks for like music and stuff. You know, like if I want to play a song, um, or they have it to where you can share revenue. And I don't mind that, you know, at all. But some of these artists want 100% of the earnings. Well,. I just won't put any music in my videos. Like, I want to play, like, play some holiday music or something, like Christmas music. You know, but it'd be kind of cool to do that. Yeah, so this set has obviously given me those winter, the winter feel, the winter vibe. So this is obviously doing its trick here. So far, do I think it's worth spending $170? 
Now, it is full of a lot of smaller pieces, so I, I can't really, I can't really tell because I haven't built the actual build yet, so I can't really determine that. Just lots of little pieces. We're still on bag one, mind you. We haven't got to any of the big stuff yet. Yeah, I know some of you guys and gals have been asking about campers. and I have a camper that I'm going to be building next year. It's going to be one of my older campers because I'm going to. I never did it. I never did a tutorial on it, so I'm going to do it just so I can preserve the idea. And, and for the late camper, for I think I usually try to do an extra camper in November. I didn't do it this year, but I'm going to do one next year though. I already have an idea. I just got to get it going first. Still working on the chassis of it here. Okay, this goes here. I mean, you gotta be, you gotta wash this out. If you're like me and you just have a hard time seeing red, yeah, this is a little bit of a challenge here. Making sure I didn't put any pieces in the wrong place. I get confused with these and the 1x2 flat tiles. That's what I'm looking for now. This is just meant to look like snow. And, and don't get me wrong though, these little sets do have a lot of inspiration. They're just not a lot of parts, but you know, if you can expand these out tenfold, you'd have a nice beautiful scenery. Just from the box it looks pretty cool, so I can't wait to build this. I really can't wait. I just, I just can't wait till I'm off so I can actually do nothing. <laughs> I can do nothing, just relax. Oh, I got a rock floating on the water here. Okay. Oh yeah, I've been writing up manuals. That's what I've been doing right there. Those call outs. Oh, so, okay, so here's the deal. Anybody, I know there's a few of you guys on my Discord server asking about the Michael Myers house. I finally got done proofing the rough draft for manual number one. So now I got to do two and three, which is going to be built in the second manual. Kind of got to thinking on how to do these faster. Next time I'm not going to start with manual one, I'm going to start with manuals two and three three and four first, work my way back, just for, um, it'll make it a lot faster to do them that way. So that's what I'm going to have to do, looks pretty good, matches the picture. So I'm going to get that house done probably, I'm hoping by the end of this year. That's probably one of the worst houses that I could build. <laughs> it's two stories with a removable roof. And it's not the siding that makes the project difficult. It's just, it's an older build. And I made some subtle changes. I got rid of the reddish brown floor and decided to put dark orange because it looks more like a golden oak. So I changed that up a bit. Um, and the way the floors are attached, I changed those out a little bit, but it visually looks the same, exterior-wise. And we're finally getting to bricks. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing with that house. It's going slow. <laughs> and in addition to that, I'm also doing some of the smaller manuals too, like the building exercises and such. So I'm trying to get those done. And I've already got a few earfuls on uh, Patreon about why people don't understand why I'm only doing the small manuals because I want to preserve those ideas. Because a lot of those will be used in future builds. And that's just how it is. There'll be video tutorials as well, but you know, if anybody would like to support me on Patreon, you're more than welcome to. And wow, we're actually hiding that transparent blue brick with this. 
What a waste. I would have just left that open there. I wouldn't even put anything in there. You know, when I'm done with this, I'm ripping this apart for the pieces. <laughs> it's got some good parts. I'm not going to let them go to waste. Somebody asked me, though, what do I do with all these sets LEGO sends me? I just... I build them, review them, and then they just sit until I get around to parting them out from my collection. And, and so one of my friends like, well, does LEGO, when they send this to you, do you ever have to send it back? No. I guess it's like a, like a thank you for reviewing this, taking the time. And, you know, Jay, you get a lot of parts out of these sets, like useful pieces. Not anymore if I were to buy them myself. So it's not like I'm going to be getting a bunch of pieces out of one of these. This set here looks like it's got a lot of useful parts for a winter theme or something that involves water. So we could just feel the freezing cold air coming from this. But yeah. I did have one of my fans ask me though. He wants to join this. How does he do it? I said, well, first you got to be 18. And of course, he's not. And I said, the second thing is, uh, you have to have a very big community. And third, you actually have to really do the paperwork on this stuff. It's, they don't just send you stuff just to have it sit in your collection. You actually have to review it. Because honestly, though, I would just have sat on the set. I wouldn't even have reviewed it yet. Okay, so this must be like a little creek here, like a little river that's flowing down to here. And I'll show you here. I'll, I'll do an overhead when I get the step thing here done. Okay. See, this is what it looks like. Not too bad, huh? I think that turntable is supposed to go. I think this is actually has the ice skating rink and that's what we're going to be working on here next. I've never have seen, let me, these are almost impossible as these cogs. You can't even pick these up unless you slide them off the table. So that's what these are. Can't even pick this one up. The base is supposed to go like this. It's got arrows. I think you have to face the arrows a certain way. So we're going to have to note here, there's an arrow here, right there on that, right by my finger on the right hand side of my index finger. So I don't know how critical this is, but we're going to snap that down on there. And let me make sure I'm not missing anything here. Yeah. So if you're tempted to play and spin with that, don't, don't do it yet, because it may be critical. And then this one here goes on the bottom of that. Well, that's a pretty interesting thing. If it wasn't on the other side, it would look pretty cool. So this is probably for the ice skater. And you know, I have never ice skated in my life. It looks pretty, it looks almost like you'd, like rollerblades, but except you're on ice. I've never ice skated before. Well, it's kind of hard if you're in the desert, but. It's one of those things I'd like to do. Oh, how am I supposed to know which way that's supposed to be? I don't even know which way the arrow's supposed to be on this. It doesn't show it on here. Too bad they don't have these in half round. Well, too bad they don't have them in transparent light blue. It'd be cool. And I'll have to stop here in a second. I got my, my videos done. I got to send it up to YouTube because that's got to be released before this. Because this is actually a longer video, and it will take longer for this one to be edited. I'll do that in the morning. Probably before I go to work. Or I could take the files and do them while I'm at work, but yeah. There we go. 
and there's actually a one by one plate that goes inside there just a transparent light blue so there we go looks pretty cool so far and it goes in here and it sits like this looks pretty good and I think you're supposed to do this yeah These are cool right here. I just wish they'd make these in tile form. would be cool. So we're using these to cover this up. Yeah, so, so far I'm not too disappointed with this set. Yeah, this is a, a little bit stiff. This is kind of just sticking out there. Are they going to finish that off, or is that just going to sit like that? You know, I mean... <laughs> oh, no, we're not. We're finishing it off. Okay, I got gotcha. you. These are just going to hang. I'm not a big fan of that. But okay, I guess they're going to stay in. Okay, just about done with this bag here. Yeah, we're just about done. We just got this is the last of this bag. Is this last page right here? Yeah. So I'm going to say so far, this is a very decent building experience so far. Let me straighten that back out there. And the reason why is because we have to note where these pieces go here and I will get confused all right oh yeah um, well we'll say that for the next next segment about how important it is to watch my reviews it's basically all it boiled down to is I have direct communication with Lego so I can relay a lot of stuff and we got this one right here I need to get a couple of these these triangular tiles. Oh, wait a minute. Hold, hold on. Okay, I messed up. And oh, and by the way, it doesn't come with the brick separator too. So you better hope you have good nails, or you have a, <laughs> you know, you, or a brick separator on hand. got these here this guy here this and this right here all right let me save my progress on the camera and then I got to go upload that video all right with the magic of YouTube I'm starting my upload process <laughs> see with this being as raw as it is I can do this stuff I can tell you guys what I'm doing here as I build so that's pretty much what you get there okay I gotta find a well, I'll throw it in there. Okay, so bag two, we got to build another elf. All right, so so far, uh, this set they they say it retails for twenty dollars, and well, I'm not feeling the twenty dollars yet. So you know, I don't know. Maybe there's something I'm missing here. I don't know. And I have not found that Formica yet for this top. I just hadn't had time to look. All right, let's get our L. So at least with this set, for any, you know, for a little consolation prize, you do get two elves. So be good for making, you know, like with this guy here, he's got the red, the red hat. I have a bunch of green ones, like the the bright green. I can use the red one for maybe the chief elf or something. Yeah, be. I have a bunch of elves, Santa's elves. If you ever watched my uh, Santa Claus's preparing theme, I have it on my main channel. I had the reindeer. I used all my elf figures that I had. Well, there it is. So I can always, 
I need to pull all my elves out and put them in their own little bin, like their own little areas so I won't lose them. So obviously this gentleman here is a righty and I'm having a hard time putting he's got a snowball in his hand. Well, snow stud. <laughs> All right, we'll get that out of the way. Yep, I'm reaching the middle of the book. It's got the staples in it too. Yeah, so this is this is not a bad little build, you know. I had to see which where this stud went here. Sometimes Lego has been known to get those arrows wrong. Even on my manuals that I write, I sometimes will get them wrong too. So I have to be very careful. I think I've only been up to the mountains a few times when it snowed. And when you go up there, it feels like Christmas time. You know, for, for me anyways. Because where I'm at, Christmas time is is evergreen trees and and green grass. <laughs> uh, even the countryside out here is a nice deep green. Summertime it's it's it, it's dead, but the winter time it's just green and lush. Matter of fact, we've already broke our record for rainfall in October or November. So we're done with the accessories. We'll slide those off. We'll have a look at all this in a, in a little bit. We've got a gray brick in there. It must be part of the mountainscape. Yes, I do miss going to the mountains. It's just hard to find somebody who's interested in just going on a hike, you know. Uh, you know, friends, even my family. You know, I thought my nephew would like that stuff, but he's not really into the backpacking, camping stuff. You know, it's kind of. Trying to find somebody who's interested, even a friend that I know, she's not interested. So I'm kind of like, I'm off on my own. I don't know if anybody remembers on my main channel, though. Remember all the scenic videos I used to have, like... I would have some of nature hikes and stuff like that. And I would just talk about things like I'm doing now. And we would see something like, oh, let's, you know, let's head down this way. Let's go down this road. Let's see what's down here. And, and we got to make four of these. And it was just something a little different. And... I don't know what it was, but a lot of people in the LEGO community just did not like those nature hikes. I actually had to move them to another channel. And I would just sit, I would just literally leak out mocks like, oh, we're walking by this cabin. This would make a great build, you know, and that's where I would start from there. And I would just, or see something in the wild and just like, hmm, that'd make an interesting thing built in LEGO. <laughs> so I would do that, like a camper or something. And a lot of the like travel trailers and fifth wheels and stuff, they'd have a model number. So what you do is you just take that model number, you go back to camp, get on your computer or a smart device, if you have one. You know, you're supposed to be outdoors, but you're probably in the trailer <laughs> searching for a camper. You find the floor plan. It's like, okay, I got a floor plan. Could I build this in Lego? And there was inspiration right there, you know. I'm not a type of person that likes to look at other people's Lego builds to get inspired. I look at real world stuff and I go from there. Okay, I think 
We are done with, I think those are for the trees. That's what they are. So basically, this is just a little backdrop, which is pretty cool. So if you really wanted to, you know how some of you guys and gals have a winter village theme. Some people will display those village themes like on a big, large counter. So just imagine you do this, like take some base plates and go vertical and just build some trees like that. It would look really snazzy and you could just give your back of your winter village a backdrop. It, be, it probably would be a fortune to build it like that, but still, uh, just something different. We need to make four of those. So the trees are a bit on the boring side, but we're going to have to add some trees to this. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little tired. This, like I said, I don't know when I'll have this one uploaded, though. There's always been this discussion of what, how do you grade on a good quality Lego set? Like, what do you really look for in the build? It's usually, a, you know, for me, like, you know, does the build spark a memory? You know, is it a memory of me building Lego when I was younger? Is it a memory that I've actually been somewhere? Uh, you know, like for this set, I've been up in the mountains when it was cold. And you had that, you, when you get, especially you get up in the morning, you go outside and you just have that, it's that really crisp, cold air you're breathing in. And I mean, it's just crisp and cold and clean. And you would go from there, you know, that's what, that's what it feels like. It just, this, this feels more like, or anybody's had those uh, um, um, peppermint nougats, no, cinnamon nougats, cinnamon or peppermint nougats. Kind of reminds me of that. <laughs> those are always good to eat. I have a couple of reviews on those. Actually, this is not a bad idea for this uh, backdrop here. So indeed, the box is not lying. This is pretty decent here. Plus, this makes it look bigger, too. It looks like we have ourselves a gray sky, or it could be a mountain in the background. We don't know yet. Obviously, I think it is a mountain with the icicle hanging down. And a lot of us, including myself, well, where I'm at, we don't see snow. It did snow out here in October, or maybe it was early November. For just maybe two minutes and it turned into a, like a light rain. It didn't last too long. And <laughs> it's always a treat, you know, some, I know back east in the, in the States, they a lot of people complain about the snow, but out here it's like very welcoming. Oh, they do it twice here. So I could do that in my manuals too. I try to condense everything out into one. But yeah, I've never really, you know, I've never lived in the snow. It snowed out here one time many years ago. And we literally had like a foot and a half out here. Now, that out here in my part of the neck of the woods is very unheard of. But it snowed. And it snowed. A foot of snow out here. In a desert. It's unheard of. But it was nice. You know how many people took off? Well, I I took off. I wasn't going to mess with it because I couldn't drive in it anyways. So, at the time I didn't have chains or anything like that. So it's like, nope. No, it, it's hard to say, but we are going to call a snow day. I mean, who wants to work on snow days? So that's what we did. Well, I did anyways. I wasn't going to deal with anything. Hope we're going to crown off the top of those trees with something. Maybe we're not. But yeah, snow days are always cool. I've never experienced a snow day in real life. Well, just that one time. And I was working for someone else at the time. Alright, I think we're missing a part here. Oh, no, we're not. I was looking for a one-by-one. One. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, even my allergies have been flaring up a bit. 
in turn I've also got a bit of a head cold that I've been I finally had fought off I didn't even know I had and with that was that RSV or something like that that new contagious thing going around right now for kids I mean I'm used to not breathing very well but man imagine being a kid you're not knowing what's going on or a parent it's like now my, when my asthma flares up it hadn't flared up that much but man this year it's been bad and I think it only gets bad when I'm sick that's how I know when I'm sick is if I, my asthma just starts kicking up a bit that's when either use the inhaler you just start sucking on sea salt to get rid of it so yeah this is actually a rock face what I'm taking it is right here it's supposed to cope up All right. so far I really am liking this build so yeah if you're watching these you can voice your opinion about the quality of the set or anything like that too if this is something you're interested in and then when I go and relay the info to Lego I'll just say hey you know John Doe or Jane Doe said this and that and you know that kind of thing you know sometimes we get some comments saying hey why don't they just retail sell this stuff what if you're interested in just this set you should get it free but yeah and this is starting to get pretty flimsy right here that's all one by built. Yeah, so these up here are intended to be snow capped mountains. So this indeed is a backdrop. This is actually meant to sit back further. So this mountain's probably pushed back probably a couple hundred feet, maybe a mile or so. We don't know. Oh, there's more at the top. And my video is still going. Oh yes, yeah, about Twitter. Anybody's following me on Twitter. Twitter now is going to be raw and cut. So if I want to say a bad word, I'm going to say it there. I think twi we all know what's going on with Twitter now. So I guess it's safe to say you can be yourself on there. And I wish I'd have gotten verified beforehand, but now you got to pay like, is it eight bucks to get verified? Well, is that for paperwork or is that just, just to kind of prove myself to you? Just so you can take my money. I don't want to get into all that on here, huh? I don't want to bore anybody. Okay, so that is the top of the trees there. Okay. They have these right here for the teeth. There's two of these plates and the tooth goes here. I always stick the plates on that first. It's just easier, especially if you have big fingers like me, it's just easier to set those in there. Let's pull that up so you can see it a bit better. So if you're not really a fan of these small stuff, this is probably not going to be a very good set for you. For me it's just it's mainly just small pieces. I understand why they do it. It's just lots of small parts. And we're still doing small pieces. Obviously we can't attach stuff here. It's all smooth. <laughs> I mean, it's all it is. It's really small stuff at this point. Well, at least it's not some crummy micro build, huh? Always like these type of teeth pieces. They're just so universal for all sorts of things, especially the right angle ones. The up and downers look pretty cool. Oh, speaking of that, you know, my dentist, I've been trying to get appointments to get my teeth cleaned for so much. And every time they call me and say, hey, would you like to come in and get your teeth cleaned? It's right when I'm in the middle of work. And I'm like, no, I'm not going to take time off for this. Oh, you're overdue. And I'm like, well, every time I schedule, you keep canceling. And I just can't, 
I can't just bail on my job because you need me first. I'm sorry, but that job pays the bills. Okay, so we've got our jagged mountains up. It looks pretty good. It's a little three dimensional there too. This is not a this right here, guys and gals, is not bad for a micro build. So if you're ever into micro builds, just imagine putting a little cabin or something in here. So instead of it being minifigure scale, you can make this as for micro builds too. That's why I like doing these type of reviews, these raw reviews. Because you know it's raw. It's it's unscripted. This is just saying from my mind. Okay, I am recording. <laughs> I was like, oh, I don't want to hit the wrong button and not record. I had one person on here say I talk too much. Just to shut up and build. And I'm like, well, he just told me to shut up and build. And I was like, well, no. I thought that was kind of rude. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I had to block you. <laughs> you know, asking me politely is always a good thing. Ask, being rude about it. I just tend to forget. My hand slips and I ban people. I don't know how that happens. Ooh, brittle brown. We've got to be careful. This stuff's going to break. I think this is supposed to go in there. Oh, we got some cool our uh, spring green studs but what are we doing we're sticking these exciting colors in here yeah I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you though this set started out okay it seems like a good build but my hands are getting tired. It's just a bunch of small stuff at this point. At least we're not building 20 of these. I hope not. We've got to build four leaf assemblies. Like, Jay, you can stick it out. Yeah, I could, but let's start making two of these now. Might be able to use that tree for something else. This reminds me of the Michael Myers house. I had to put a bunch of those little slopes on there. My goodness, there was like literally hundreds and hundreds of those. I hadn't even finished the building guide up yet, so I don't know how many slopes I used in that build. But I know it was a lot. But I'm going to build it pretty much the way I built it back in the day. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm just setting them on here. I'm not going to straighten these out just yet. That's what the table is for, so we're going to table that thing together. So now I just stick this on the table. Kind of just mush it together, just push this down. And now they're pretty lined up versus how crooked these are. So just set it down, push them right up against the flat surface like a table. And it straightens them out pretty good. And there you go, there's two of those. And okay. And of course, if these right here are crooked, you this thing will lighten line them up. Okay. Right. Yeah, my old neighbor. He's got a. I, don't, I think he replaced his air condition, but they also have one of those uh, heat pump furnaces or whatever. And it runs all the time. You hear it just, it makes the whole side of the house vibrate. And I'm like, mine, the one on my house is just kind of old. But it's not noisily loud. Maybe this guy just likes loud things. I'm like, yeah. 
Uh, he's been speeding up and down on his motorcycle in the like on our street, which I quite understand why people do that anyway. It's, you know, why would you want to do that? My fear is if I did that, some kid would run out in front of me and I won't be able to stop. Especially if you drive an old pickup truck. They don't stop on dimes as easily, so yeah, it's yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna speed and make somebody's day miserable. It's the holidays. We don't need to be it's the holidays, guys and gals. Nobody wants to go to the hospital. <laughs> I know I don't. <laughs> Or jail. I mean, nobody wants to go to jail on the holidays. Some people do. I mean, you know, it's, I wouldn't. Okay. Well, there's one of those. Let's get this one mushed down. So, yeah, when I do the review, there's a lot of small pieces in this, so I will let that be known. It's not a bad little spruce tree. Well, I hope we don't have to build two of those. Okay, and we put the nose cone on the top. Oh, yeah. It shows that it's got stars, too. Cool. Means we're really done, huh? Let me just set that right there. And does it really matter? I'm going to match the picture up anyways. Set that in there. Yeah, I think this would be more of a good set for micro builds. Pretty much what it is with all the small one by stuff. Yeah, all we need now is that pine air freshener in here. Put it right by this and make you feel like in the forest. <laughs> I kind of want to know what's behind there. Like, what's on the other side of that mountain, you know? Obviously nothing back here, but, you know, if it's... Use your imagination. Like, what is behind that mountain? Yeah, when I get done with this, I'm going to film the formal review. I didn't mention about this being, you know, provided to me by Lego, so I gotta include that in the uh, build. So technically there's three there's three pieces to my reviews. The unboxing, the review, and of course the live build. Alright, so we gotta build a couple of these. Let's start with the bottom ones first. Yeah, so this is all small stuff at this point. I mean, as you can see right here, it's it's lots of small parts. So if you're not fancying for this, this is probably not going to be for you. I mean, I'm not even I'm not going to kid you. I'm even kind of you know, it's it's a very cool build, but I'm also starting to get a little tired of it. It's it's just mostly small stuff. So when I do the review, that's how I'm going to you know, list it as. It's small. Now, Jay, now come on. You're complaining too much. Now, I actually had a tutorial that I was going to film tonight, but when... I got this set, and they're like, you know, you're going to have to do this one first before you do the review, you know, the tutorial. They didn't say that to me, but I was looking at that thinking, oh, I got a deadline of 24 hours. I got to get it done. So there goes the tutorial. But that tutorial I had planned is not going to be released until next year. So you probably won't even see it for two or three months anyways. You know, I was always wondering, how would you make some of these little brick trees like this? And honestly, that's not a bad little build. Matter of fact, if you could twist these, I don't think you can. But it would be pretty cool to do so. 
So there you go. And this one goes right Oh, it goes on the jumper plate, okay. So now it looks like we have back round here. Yeah, so I think this back piece with the stationary trees are just meant to be way off in the distance. Okay. It's like now we gotta do the Christmas lights. Um, there's a trick for these and how to do them. You can do it any way you want. Um, how does one do these very straight? You can see where the lights are kind of hanging off to the side here. Okay, so going like this. Well, how, how does one do that? I'm going to go get a base plate and we're going to do that. So let's take a base plate. And string on there like that. There you go. Now, <laughs> That makes it a lot easier to put those lights on there. And then they want them facing straight down like this. I don't think it, it's really critical. So what I'm going to do is just start sticking these on here. And it's just easier to do it like this anyways. So. Now I'm pushing them straight on. The reason why they're flipping like this is because they're on this base plate. And they may not be lined up all the way, but it's a lot better trying to do this than do it the other way. You can use this building, building technique if you choose. Just please, if you do, give me credit for it. I've already have enough. Uh, there's, already a, there's already a YouTuber already st snagging my ideas. Now you can you can take this off or just leave it there and just put your colors on there. So putting parts on like this upside down is a bit of a challenge. So yeah, this is all small work. If you just don't want to do this, I don't blame you. Uh, it's just tons of small pieces. Because my hands are getting tired. Even when I build my own stuff, I try to not go crazy on small parts. Alright, so we got a repeater pattern again. Oh no, we don't. It starts with another green one. Yep. And then we go blue. They got enough green in the background. You think they would want to pick more of red and stuff in there. So we have these core colors here, and we have green, blue, and it goes to red. And back to blue. And then we got yellow. Boy, my fingertips are like raw. This reminds me of that goofy Disney set that I put that little haunted house micro build. I mean, my fingers are still feeling the pain on that. Now we can just pop this off. Set this off to the side. And I don't think it really matters which way this goes. Let me show the blue side going here. Now these trees are pretty fragile, so you got to be careful. These don't really stay up very well. You can see how wiggly that is. And, you know, so I think this just lassles around here. And it goes on the top like that. That's what it looks like. 
Hard to say, maybe it goes backwards. Let me loop it around this way then. Shows it like this. Yeah, it looks a little better. Yeah, it's not the best thing in the world. There. So yeah, um, it looks pretty good so far. And a squirrel. And a homemade acorn. So what they did is they just took one of these dark orange plates, shoved it here, and of course just that's an acorn right there. <laughs> and we got a blue hand floating in there. Matter of fact, I did three. I did do a 3D scan of my hand uh, for my building guide. You know, you see some of these guys on YouTube. They'll have they'll have parts like this. They hold a part like that. Okay, I want to do that digitally. Okay, so you have to take off one of the skates here. And you would actually, well, they just fall off. Stick a stud in there. So that's what this stud is for. And he's supposed to stand here. And you take the blue hand, and he's supposed to do this. And this feels a bit crude. This just feels stiff. So. So they have him sitting here. And we got the little sleigh. This is a pretty cool little sleigh here. And just snap that right in there. It doesn't matter where you place it. So just as long as it locks in, that's all that matters. And yeah, I think that's done. And they have this one skate here left over. That's why they only give you two. Usually they give you three of those. You know what? I can't show you this. You know why? Uh, because this set doesn't exist yet. So I can't show you this. You may have to edit that out so there's actually a continuation to this build and I don't know if they're sending me that or not let's see here anything else in this book so yeah I have to be careful what I show there's the back so if it's anything like this I'm probably not looking forward to that so let's take a look at this for a quick rough review if you are interested, and of course, like I said, you have to spend a hundred and seventy dollars, I believe. They say they can change it at any time, so don't hold your breath to that one or me accountable. So let's first talk about the build. Did it did it keep my interest? Yes, until we started getting to tons of small parts. All right, I'm not a fan of really tiny pieces in one sitting. It is packed full of detail, though. It's it's pretty cool to look at. It's bright and colorful. So this has got a lot of color. There's lots of bright colors. You got red, you got green, blue, got a little bit of yellow here. It comes with two figures. These figures are scaled. You can use this for a Lego city. Could this be dropped in a city? Most likely not. But you could use the elves and the sleigh. Of course this and the lights and even these two trees. You could transplant those trees into a city. So you could do that. Now this is the part here it's just you know the back so you would just set this against the wall or something like that so this would work good for your winter village just as a, a theme and you could just taper this off so it doesn't really have a high city drop in value you can't just drop this in a city could you build on this and build this into a mock you could probably expand the scene out a bit more and kind of just feather this off into some other landscapes so you could do that uh, you can integrate this even into something larger as well. Um, did it keep my interest? Like I said, it kept my interest up to a point, but the small pieces, I was, my hands are getting tired. <laughs> uh, yeah, and the instructions were easy to follow. I didn't have any problems putting it together. Uh, the gear mechanism here just feels a bit stiff. You know, it doesn't feel wiggly, it just feels stiff. 
And I'm yawning. Whew. I guess that's time for me to call it quits there. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and fix up for bed, do one final review of this, and that's it, and then just have it done. But other than that, though, if you do get this set, it is a nice build if you're into small parts. So if you're into micro builds, if you love micro builds, this probably would be an exception for a regular build. But yeah, I'll stop with my my jaw uh, flapping right now. But yes, you know, is it worth twenty dollars if this was retailed? Yes, it's worth it. You get three hundred seventy-two pieces, mostly small stuff, but it is a nice display piece nonetheless.